Mabuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. So I'm going to be doing some pollination today, playing the part of the bee again. Got two of my Turbinicarpus in bloom at the same time. Schmiedicianus on the left, what a name, and Pulaski on the right. So hopefully we'll be successful with crossing these two. The method I'll be using is the tweezer method, plucking pollen from the plant and dropping it directly onto the stigma. Yeah, this method worked well for me earlier in the year with pollinating my Astrophytum Mysterious. I did a video on that as well, links up above and in the description below if you've not seen that one. I'll also do this method a few times a day while the flowers are open. Turbinocarpus flowers usually last only a couple of days, so I'll pollinate them twice today and twice again tomorrow. So using our tweezers we'll gently pluck out some of the pollen from this one. And putting it onto the stigma of the other. As this one has two flowers, we'll of course pollinate them both. The same again with this one, taking the pollen and putting it onto the stigma of the other. Very large and prominent stigma on this Pulaski. Making sure we get lots of that pollen on there. So this is only about a week later and we've been successful with the pollination. You can see the seed pod forming on the Pulaski. And two seed pods forming on the Schmiedekianus. So this is now just over a month later and the seed pod on the Pulaski has split open. So we'll get the seeds out of this one now, hopefully without losing any. Quite a fiddly job, seeds are quite small and I don't have the steadiest of hands. I did try and remove the seed pod in one go but it was still quite firmly attached so I'm having to take one or two seeds out at a time. all of the seeds out, managed to get them all out without losing any. Quite a nice amount there from a small seed pod. And Turbinicarpa seeds come out nice and dry as well which is a bonus. So I'll transfer these to a storage container for now and sow some of them in the springtime. And of course remember to label them and the date of harvest. So about 10 days after the Pulaski, the seeds on the Schmiedekianus are ready. You can see one of these is split open as well. So same method as before, using some tweezers to get the seeds out. Again, I tried taking the whole seed pot out, but it wasn't budging. difficult to get the seeds out of this one because of the spines. 
being careful not to break any of the spines. They're quite fragile on Turbinicarpus. So that's the first seed pod done. With this other seed pod I do manage to remove half of it but as you can see it's split in half. So using the tweezers again to remove the seeds one or two at a time. Getting the seeds out of the top half of the pod that broke away. I lost three seeds from this one, two fell into the top dress and then one pinged out of the tweezers across the room. So another really nice amount of seeds from those two pods, minus the three that I lost. And once again into the storage container with name and date of harvest. Yeah, very happy with another successful pollination. Been a good year for that this year. And looking forward to sowing some of these come springtime. So thank you very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You'll be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam Bye for now.